AMD's RX 6000 lineup has some immensely powerful graphics card and the top of this lineup shines the RX 6900 XT. Upon its release, plenty of aftermarket variants have appeared to suit the needs of various gamers whether it's design aesthetics or overclocking. In today's video, we are going to showcase 5 of the best RX 6900 XT GPUs to give you a sense of direction about which one to go for. Techfluencer delivers a complete buying guide for tech enthusiasts. Here, we try our best to make you pick the best PC components, laptops, and other tech gadgets with brief technical information, pros and cons, ratings, and recommendations. Our tech expert team tests, reviews, and benchmarks thousands of products to come up with the list of the best and latest products, along with recommendations for the viewers. To know what is the best choice for you, watch the full video and check the description for the purchase links. Starting at number 7, we have the RX 6900 XT, an outstanding GPU for both hardcore gamers and content professionals that requires a great deal of expense. Based on the Navi 21 RDNA 2.0 architecture, this card is AMD's most powerful and fastest GPU to this date at a price tag of $1,000. According to Tom's Hardware's testing, it has extracted an average of 85 FPS on 13 games including Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Borderlands 3 on 4K resolution and 136 on 1440p ultra settings. As for this advanced card's rendering performance, it yielded a score of 29.36 on PC Gamer's 3D Mark Direct X-Ray Tracing Feature Test which is magnificent but not as much as the RTX 3080 Founders Edition counterpart which had a score of 47.57. According to Forbes' benchmark of the RX 6900 XT, there is a slight FPS difference of 10 to 15 in comparison with the RTX 3090, which isn't too bad with the $500 price drop on the 6900 XT side. The RX 6900 XT is a smart investment with almost the similar intensive gaming and 3D rendering performance as the RTX 3090 at a much lesser price tag. Next up at number 6, we have the Red Devil Radeon by PowerColor. A super efficient card with bold design and aesthetics to match your hardcore gaming lifestyle. It features an all-aluminum design which includes the fan shrouds as well and has some embedded vibrant plastic parts that showcases lava lag lighting effects to reassemble the Red Devil Dagline. The back is covered with a full-length backplate with some sleek cutouts and a Devil logo that glows vibrantly. Surprisingly, you can customize these effects according to your preference to the Devil Zone RGB software. Compared to the reference card, the Red Devil one is quite huge as it has a length of 320mm which will require quite a bit of a case to install properly. Visuals aside, this card has a base clock speed of 2105MHz that can be cranked up to 2340MHz through effective overclocking. Overall, the Power Color Red Devil Radeon RX 6900 XT is a visually stunning card that will suit RGB enthusiasts the best. At number 5, we have the Speedmaster Mark 319 from XFX, a solid graphics powerhouse with much better cooling, quieter operation, and fair overclocking abilities than the reference 6900 XT. This card features XFX Ghost Thermal design that significantly reduces heat for better thermal preference through its airflow vents and cutouts. Under the hood, this card has plenty of thermal paddings on the VRM and memory which enables it to perform at its maximum while keeping itself durable. With that aside, the fans have been fitted with double ball bearings that endures better, have efficient airflow, and a minimal level of noise due to less friction. Out of the box, 
This card has a game clock speed of 2135 MHz and the 14 plus 2 power phase design provides enough headroom for overclocking for up to 2365 MHz. For gamers who are all in for the performance, getting the SFX Speedster Mark 319 will be a worthy investment. On the number 4 spot, we have the Tough Gaming by ASUS. A more robust and buffed up version of the RX 6900 XT with greater cooling performance. This all aluminum shrouded GPU has an axial tech fan design where the center fan rotates opposite of the outer duo for lower cross fan turbulence, which increases the cooling efficiency. Additionally, it has dual ball fan bearings that increases the durability of the fan to make it last longer compared to sleeve bearing designs. You will get about 2310 MHz clock speed in gaming mode and can even crank it up to a maximum of 2340 MHz in OC mode to squeeze up that extra bit of frames. What's more, this GPU offers two BIOS choices where one is for default mode and another for quiet fan operation for a tranquil gaming experience. Overall, the ASUS Tough Gaming is a sturdy one with a better thermal solution increased durability, and improved power efficiency. At number 3, we have the Sapphire Nitro Plus, a sleek variant of the reference RX 6900 card with greater thermal performance. This GPU features quite a similar design to the Sapphire 5700 XT version with black and grey finishing. Though quite a few changes have been made as the fans have been redesigned with an axial design that looks quite sleek. On the back of the card, there is a full-length silver backplate that looks cool and also includes some cutouts for access to additional airflow. In terms of dimension, the card is quite huge as it is 43mm more in length compared to the reference card. What's more, this huge graphics card weighs only about 230 grams which is 19% lighter compared to the reference card as well. The I.O. panel has 4 ports that include a single HDMI 2.1 and 3 DisplayPort 1.4 ports for seamlessly connecting it to your monitor. For a clean and minimalist build, the Sapphire Nitro Plus is a perfect fit with a subtle touch of uniqueness. Making our way to number 2, we have the Gaming OC16G from Gigabyte, a stylish card that features Gigabyte's signature metallic design. This card features Gigabyte's signature black and grey metallic design, and the full metal backplate has a smaller cutout for greater airflow. Gigabyte kept themselves from using their high-end GPU coolers in this one that they used in the RTX 3080 and 3090 counterparts. Instead, they used 80mm fans on all three coolers that gave this GPU a symmetrical outlook. The game clock is more or less the same with a slight bit of improvement of 35MHz in the Gigabyte Radeon RX 6900 XT Gaming OC version. The four ports on the I.O. panel includes two HDMI 2.1 and two DisplayPort 1.4 ports for seamlessly connecting it to your gaming monitor and enjoying an immense refresh rate. Overall, the Gigabyte Gaming OC is an amazing card that features Gigabyte's signature design and will fit most standard PC cases perfectly. Finally at number 1, we have the ROG Strix LC by ASUS. A closed-loop liquid cooling GPU that is quite compact and delivers intense cooling performance. This card looks and feels quite impressive as it has a big shroud with the well-known Strix pattern that covers most of the front and the rest of it designed with sleek RGB lighting. The back is covered with a polished metal backplate. Altogether, the card speaks for vertical mounting due to its amazing frontal design. It comes with a 240mm radiator for closed-loop water cooling which might require effective cable management 
as the cable are quite thick and messy. Surprisingly, the GPU is quite smaller in contrast with the reference card as it is only 277mm in length and has an improved boost clock rate of 2365MHz. On the back, it features a similar display port setup to the reference card. Furthermore, on the side of the card are two fan headers to connect it to additional fans. Overall, the ASUS ROG Strix LC is a compact yet stylish card with its water cooling support that might suit you the best if you are not planning about additional cooling solutions. So that was all about the top 7 best RX 6900 XT GPU. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.